How many times have you had sex and the sex was fire? What's the percentage? It's no more than 10%. Like, I'm saying fire, like, <gasps> you afterwards. How many, how many, give a percentage. I'm not talking about it's good, it was fire. It's a low percentage. Thank you. The other times are always, let's be real, it was just enough. People would be saying, how can they support the channel? Chisel, buy, chisel. I've got tops, I've got hoodies, I've got the Dragon Ball Z tees, like the Pain and Full Star tees. You lot could support, buy some of the merch. I'll be able to churn out more content. This one, I'm just waiting by myself for the, for the moment and I'll bring out more colors. Please support. How are you, what, what are you up to now, the chisel, bro? Holding a low key line. Oh yeah, I'm back, guys. Hey, 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 come on. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Yeah, I just been keeping my head down, man. Yeah, keeping my head down. Just been training. Mm -hmm. Trying to churn out more content now. It was, uh, yeah, trying to do. Yeah, yeah. I get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's you, mostly, most, mostly the, the income is like training clients and that kind of thing. Yeah, right? just yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I went to New York. Nice. Yeah, well, let's, yeah, let's talk about it. Yeah, yeah, you did, because you, you were, I saw you with Simeon and... Yeah. No, that was that was LA. LA. Oh, uh, okay. I saw, I saw you with the, the star, star lips. Oh, philanthropy work. I think you were the, the Clermont twins, no? No, no, I saw no, a picture no. of you and the Clermont twins. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. He said, no, no, no. No, 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 no. I went star lips to go do philanthropy. The stripper said they needed, you know, money to feed the kids. I saw a tweet that you said, um, I, did, I can't remember it went for her, but then, like, you know you have peas when you go to, like, Miami or them kind of places. No, it's not you know you have peas. But you know you're broke or something <laughs> like said, that. Yeah, their places humble you. <laughs> <laughs> Miami and Dubai. Uh, Dubai. That's a two-year old tweet, but someone retweeted it yeah. and Dubai it came back up. the hell out of you. Them two places humble you. Yeah. No, no, no. I, 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 I said Dubai. I said, I said Miami. Which was Miami no, or, or Dubai? Dubai. Both, I think both of them. I, the, the problem is, you know what it is here? Yeah? Let's say like over here, yeah. uh -huh. the guy might think he's got peas. Uh -huh. He gets to the door, yeah. This is the first time uh -huh. Marvin came to Dubai with us. So me and Gabriel had already been to Dubai before. Uh -huh. Marvin came to Dubai with us. We're like, ah, we have to be at this club uh -huh. by 12. Uh -huh. Marvin is Mr. Late everywhere. Uh -huh. This guy's like, oh, blah, blah, blah. He goes, nah, 12 o'clock, we'll get there. I said, I said, we have to be before 12, uh -huh. ideally 11. He's like, we'll get there by 12. Uh -huh. We got there at 11.45, we get to the door. Oh yeah, table, blah, blah, blah. They said, nah, your table's gone. <laughs> I said, what do you mean? He said, oh, like, oh, we, we booked a, what was it? Like 3,000 dirham table or something. I said, nah, man, your table's gone. <laughs> I, 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 look, I, I looked to Marvin, I said, bro, see, like, the I'll table, see. I'll tell you, yeah, the table, yeah, when we got into the club, yeah, I knew exactly where the table was because we was only three men and there was a couple of other men who was going to come. So we we didn't have the prime, prime location, but we had a good seating, but it was in the far side. Yeah. So now, yeah, I phoned my uh, Sudanese brother and I was, bro, Baz, where are you? He was like, uh, I'm in the club. Uh, say, so what they do is, yeah, and I started doing this over here. If I got a table, at a venue, I tell them, don't put my name. Because what happens, you put your name on the table, girls who know you, because my name is unique, or girls who don't know me, and on my Insta, they go and sit around my table. So by mm. the time you come on my table, I don't want to be kicking people off the table, because I might have come with a group of guys and girls I know, so I'm trying to be with my people, mm -hmm. then I end up being rude when I'm telling you, oh, you need to move. So these men here, they, they, the table name one day was Mo Salah. So come, come to the middle. I said, Mo Salah's table. Uh -huh. We've gone up there, we've gone inside. Then the table was meant to get here. It was like two tables away from them. Mm -hmm. Bare London Utes there, balling out. They had like 30 girls at the table. And I was just there, just like, yeah. that could be us. <laughs> because you decided to come late. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Then Miami, this is why I said Miami could be as bad. No, and humbly, no, 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 I'll tell you why. No. I'll tell you why. Right, go on. You I'll tell you why. I'll tell you. So I've come live on Sunday, and this is not on a on a bank holiday. This is the week after. So this is this weekend coming. So this is a week after the carnival. Mm. Three years ago, got live on Sunday. Now we're getting through the back door now, and I've looked. I said, "Fuck, the line is mad, mental, disgusting." <laughs> buff girl, step up. Buff girl, step up. Buff girl, step up. Mm. <laughs> There's a, a a place, you know, the pit where the promoters. So like, there's a, it's it's horrible because if you, if you said that in there, so right, all the girls here who did uh, pay entry, but they got it free. 
you just all stay in here mm-hmm. and they call it a pit. This is bare buff girls and promoters in the pit. Yeah, then <clears throat> you've got your tables and that. The girls who didn't look that good, they were, remember, some of these clubs, like Story, especially on a weekday, it's free before 11. But the girls who don't look good were getting told, oh, yeah, the only way you're getting in is if you get a table. Yeah, that's the, but see, this is the thing. I remember. Those are the girls you grab, man. That's the kind of, oh, you can get in? Come on. In the queue. Or we was outside. We had a table at Aura. And um, <laughs> there was somebody that was amongst us. And um, they said to them, like, oh, like, you, you can only come in if you're, you're having girls on your table. He's like, yeah, 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 I'm with girls, man. <laughs> and I'll never forget this. So he's like, the guy goes, where's the girls? And he pointed at them. And security looked at him and goes, these girls are not girls, bro. <laughs> and they said, he said, you can't come in. I don't, yeah, that's why I don't like all these, like, bougie clubs, the lives. I've, I've been, obviously, I've, I've been there. I've been invited there so to I'm come. And so. I don't like, bro, because I remember, this is, this, this is when I was like, I don't fuck with them kind of clubs because I remember... Um, I knew uh, some of the guys in the club, right? I had the free entry kind of thing, but we came late. It's like you were saying, when you come late, da, da, da. so we're at the in the queue. And the way the security and the people were trying to act like we were road guys or something like that. And then as soon as they heard, oh, you know this person? Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was like, and then, yeah. nah, yeah. man. And then how they were treating right, some, of, treat, yeah, some yeah. of the black girls in the queue as well. It's I was mad. like, nah, I ain't. That's, that's not my thing. That's what made me love like Vegas. Because you see, when I first went to Vegas, mm. yeah, I remember being in the queue and I see, like, I think um, maybe the table next to us mm. in the queue, that mm. is, there was like 12 men mm. on the table. And he was like, the guy said to him, oh, how many? He goes, yeah, 12. He's like, 12 guys. And then I think it was about maybe four women and they were meeting more on the sides. Mm-hmm. But they had no, no qualms with that. And it was like there was no problem. Mm-hmm. It was just neat. And it's like in in the UK, and this is what made this is what made me stop going out in England. Cause it's like there's no point. Cause there's never a scenario. Obviously, there was that club on Clapham High Street and yeah. that bar. And yeah. That other yeah. one that, you know. Mm. But um there's never a scenario where like you can roll with man that, like you had to pack you had in a to, particular oh, yeah. way. Be yeah. like, ah, oh, all right, for every two men, there's three girls or whatever. To, to get your table, like all of that. I'll that's give what, you, that's I, why I don't, I, I don't give, go out over I'll there, give you an example. Circle of mm. Central. So a lot of times, even up to now, I like, have people that I know, oh yeah, 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 come Circ. Nope. They're like, why not? I said, uh, years ago now, I've gone there with one of my boys. Uh, he hosts at Tate. So Brandon Carter, he hosts at Tate. So I've gone Circ one time after mm-hmm. Tate, rolled out with him. Trying to get into Cirque. The guy at the door said, no. I said, why not? He said, ah, oh, because your build is intimidating. So the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just say I'm an ebony. At so this point, he, just, just call me an ebony. We hear the joke. So fast forward, yeah. Fast forward, maybe a year, maybe two later. Uh, Luar's come from States. And the man he's seen in the time, he's like, ah, oh, yeah, link up, man. Let's all, let's all go Cirque. I was like, ah, oh, nah, da, 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 da. He said, nah, let's just go. So he's booked a table. Uh-huh. They said, uh, seven people on the table is cool. One five. So I was like, all right, cool, whatever. Now we've got to Cirque here. We decided not to come seven people because originally we were going to come five man, two girls. Uh-huh. We decided, let's just go five man uh-huh. or seven man. We just thought, oh, let's just go five man. Yeah. We've gone five man because we're like, it's West End. We don't want to, you know how you said, the pattern, you don't want to cause grief on the doorway. Mm-hmm. They, ah, too many, man. The guy said, nah, you lot came at this time. The, the minimum spend now is three grand. I looked at Lou, I was like, let's just go, man. Yeah. He's like, nah, 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 go ahead. I've gone in there now. The same guy was the guy who said to me, because of how I looked in it. Uh-huh. I'm there chilling, like there's girls hanging on tables, blah, blah, blah. They're walking past my like, yeah, have drink, but because all of us, like, we all knew we had to be up early in the morning. So we weren't going to drink three grand worth of drink. Uh-huh. So we were just, like, just giving people drinks. There was still bottles on open and that. So we just opened this, you know what I mean? Then my friends came up to me and was like, oh, I'll take my business card. It's that, that. Every time you want to book a table, 
Awesome. And I just just said to him, well, I'm not even sure of coming back, you know what I mean? Yeah. Kind of thing, like, and I didn't even want to go into yeah. detail because I'm like, you've already, mm-hmm. you, sure you don't, yeah, you don't know what you've done nah, a couple man. years ago, but, and even NFL players, the same shit happened to them. Like, NFL players a couple times have gone there and because they're not known over here because they're sizing. Mm-hmm. They think you're right, big black guy's trouble. But these men are just trying to just cut you quietly. You know what I mean? Nah, but man. I'll tell you, Miami, if you, if, if you don't want all that hassle, they've got the Winwood. It's like the equivalent of Shoreditch. That's my, I like, that's my kind of A vibe. thing. I like scatiness. I need to ask, mm-hmm. like, off, off, off that stuff. Um, mm-hmm. Have you ever, have, have your people ever like shifted on you when you've been cancelled? Yeah. Or... Yeah, I've, 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 I've had, I've had people go distant on me. Um, only, yeah, I've had, I've, obviously only a few have been like, you know. Right, okay. But yeah, obviously not saying I'm a, a yes man, but they've been like, hey, I didn't think this was this and that. And then I explain it to them and they understand the reason. And it's nice that they communicated it in a way, but I've, I've had people that have just kind of just gone distant or because I've been working with this person or whatever, they feel, all It's weird, I've had both sides. I've had like some people not communicating, some people not. And I don't understand, it's just, you know, it's just the work I'm doing, you mm. understand? Like not everything you're gonna agree with what they're doing, so. I've, and did they try to pop back up when you was popping again? Or? Yeah, you, you, get, you get some. You get some. <laughs> <laughs> you get some and you see right you see right through it. So it yeah, the game's funny, man. The game's mad funny. Like it's just because I remember like before the opportunities I was getting, you know, um people shouting me for this. You had like every single artist saying, Yo, promote my song, this on your live or this or that and then she goes left now and everyone goes quiet. Oh, everyone goes quiet. Do, yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, and I'm like, okay, but I'm not mad at that. That's the game. That's the game now, isn't it? You know, I think I, that's I, why a lot of comedians try to stay on away from the line. Yeah, they that's why they try to why. stay on the other side so that they could get all the brand opportunities and all of that. But I, I know, kinda, yeah, it, it switches up. I know how it is anyway because cool, I'll start popping again or whatever. The club's building up, and then they'll be like, yo, can I get tickets to the club? I'm like, here's the link, bro. You can buy the tickets. Like, because it's just a switch up all the time. Mm. But I'm not, like I said, I'm not mad at it. It's just, I know the people that, you know, are with me during during the time and yeah, man. But that's a game, man. That's You can't get mad at it. That's just, just life, you know? So you just have to keep working and working hard, man, honestly, because it's f***ed out in this dunya, man. I'm telling you, but. And do you feel like, so when that happens and mm-hmm. then opportunities become less and less, do you feel that's what led you to the lane that you find yourself in now? I think it was more, it was like, I became more about ownership and not having to rely on brands, especially with the work I'm doing, because it's like, it's, it's scary when like that money's not coming in and the bills need to be paid. You're like, man, did I really have to do the Arab strip club kind of shit? And this in the Jesus shit. <laughs> hey, but, come like that. One oh joke God. is funny. Oh, oh God. God. That's not even the worst one. I've, I've done, bro, I did the, 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 the horny slave. I've done bad, like, do you feel me? Like, <laughs> I've done bad. I've done bad. But I was like, oh, man, like, oh, man. but because I'm trying to build something, you know, I go, you know what? Just keep pushing. It takes longer, but then in the next 20 years, when I have like some kind of foundation and empire, then mm. cool. Because like I was saying before, when they want to switch off your lights and they want to stop them opportunities, you're pissed. You you're pissed. The way the game's set up, it's like they get the hot ones now mm. and then you just get replaced. Do you feel like if you didn't go through that, you wouldn't understand? I had to go through that because obviously I'm not always far left. Like. I know balance now. I understand more of the balance. I understand, okay, cool. I can't just be wild all the Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. I have to have that balance, you know? And I wouldn't have learned that if I didn't take the risk. Do you feel me? You have to. You have to have a few pregnancy scares before you go, yeah, you know what? <laughs> I, I got, you know what I mean? I got, <laughs> I got, you know what I mean? I got, man. You know, your pee's a bit hot one time and you're like, oh, okay, cool. All right, I need to stop bareback and everything. But you have to take the risk. 
Man them are chucking bottles because they know what I'm talking about. <laughs> no, I know what it is. It's, it's, I say the analogies because that's how it. But it's true though, and that's that's what makes it so. That's what makes it hit. So I because, because it's like I have to take like this guy's a wild I'm not boy, gonna you know? like you know. I know the strategy now. I understand it a bit more. Like I was saying, I can't just go straight up left. I like the balance now, and because I'm being myself, I'm happy with it. So yeah, I had to go through that, and I think a lot of people don't want to take that risk, and they stay in that lane because they're scared. Of yo, I don't want to lose the bills. I don't want to lose the money. Sorry, I got bills. I got a family. Mm. But you got to jump into that. You gotta, you know what I mean? If you're trying to build your own thing, you're gonna to have to take that risk. You know, because the worst thing you can have is someone controlling who's giving you money. You want to make your own money. So basically, go. you're like the video of the, of, the, of the crab that put his little thing in yeah. the in the, in the yeah. oil. Yeah. Tested it and said, ah, and yeah, yeah. Oh, but I put my whole foot in there. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. All right, now I understand what I need to do. But yeah, I had to, I had to take that risk. I had to take that risk. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to build something that's gonna, like you, like we were saying, stand the test of time mm. for years to come. So brands, I don't really like, if they don't come, I, I'm still gonna make my money. Regardless, I need to make regardless. The golden mic comedy, check that out if you like comedy, you want to see real comedy. And come through, do you feel me? You can bring your missus, your side chick, you feel me? Or both, it's 2022, <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> it's inside side by side. Yeah, you know what, people are clocking. Why I like the comedy club a lot is because, like, I haven't done it in like a month now, but man, I'm like, yo, bro, bro, bring it back. I got things I wanna, cause the tickets are not even expensive, so, oh, bro, bring it out. Cause man, I'm clocking now. It's a little date spot. So you can come now, you can bring your joinies. You're spending, what, no more than 20 pound. You're chilling, do you feel me? No one's trying to go to these expensive dinner dates now. You're paying 70, it's a recession, isn't it? Do you feel me? Yeah. Calm now, 20 pound, and then guess what? She's what like, oh, no, no sexy fish for you, yeah? Nah, nah, no nah, 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 nah. My little brother took, took a date that I was like, yo, you, you crazy, innit? it? Like, good yeah, luck for you, innit? The young boys are boarding. Yeah, man, because right. they're doing all this reselling and shit that I didn't even know about. So I was like, all right, cool, you know, Listen, but. I, I went, I went uh, for a meal earlier on this year mm. and uh, or I got taken from me let me say I didn't say it was romantic that's an assumption <laughs> yeah yeah no, no, look at him look at him <laughs> you lot soon didn't what you? was it then I what? didn't say I didn't you assume I did enough <laughs> um, but yeah no I got taken from a meal mm. and there were these there was a young couple next to us mm -hmm. and um they were like no older than 18 and they just ordered like the girl was just you could see she was a product of social media mm. she had literally she was ordering up everything she's doing all the snaps and for like 10 minutes they probably said two words to each other and they were both in their phones and in my head i was like poor guy because like mm. he's he's obviously in whatever bag that he's in to try and bring out this girl and what she's doing is taking snaps and he, he's not in the snaps. And I was like, right, oh, it starts very early. Get me? It very, yeah, it starts. It's, that's like, that's his fault, that's though. That's your life at 18, yeah. yeah that's his fault. I want, like, a part of me wanted to pull him aside and say, listen, young bull, like, this ain't how it goes. That's, that's, what, that's what we got to That's what we got to teach, teach the young buck that, because it's like, I remember my, my brother took the, his date. Hey, did, the did, sexy did you hear what you said before you said teach? What? Your mind said, that's why you got to cheat. You <laughs> 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 yeah, he's, he's heard that. Yeah, he's heard that. that. He's yeah, heard yeah, that. Yeah, he's yeah, he's yeah, heard yeah. that. Yeah. But you have to, innit? Like, I remember <laughs> I said, <laughs> well, you got to, Mo. I said to my brother, I said, listen, the next day you take this girl on, like, make sure it's no more than 20 pounds. Like, test her. Like, you got to test these ladies now. Take them on cheap dates and see how they react, innit? That's how you know they're the one, because you take them to all these nice places now, they're doing all the snapping thing, and then guess what? Another is taking her there next week, and you're finished. Man, that's that. Do you feel me? So, I don't like them kind of like... Do you see the, the, the tweets uh, the other week where the girl tweeted about the hotel it takes you to, to say, ah, oh, if a guy takes you to a uh, travel lodge or... Tired. Or oh, premier in or that. You, you don't take this story out shit. Nah, man. Just, okay. I was like, in my head, I started laughing because Travel Lodge and them things are like. They're like 50 now. No. 100 or something. Yep, yeah. If you go to yeah, certain yeah. places now, I, like, I if you go. I don't know anything about that. Nah, you know what it is. Yeah? <laughs> no, you if know you go out in the city. No, but if you go out in the city. No, but you know what it is. No, when people I know from America come, they're like, oh, check all hotels within. 
Ah, but so you know I what, see, saying that I see all on the Google travel thing, lodge like, in oh. America yeah. is a it's a different category. Yeah, it's, that's that's. Yeah, I didn't but, even know it was in the states. So, so I, I check, I I check would, everything. I'm like, I wouldn't right, know right. anything about it. It's that. gone up. So. Yeah, it's gone. Especially like weekends, they've clocked now. Especially in like London. We got old spaces. Why are we doing hotel? It's true, man. It's true. And the thing is, yeah, this is it. Yeah, let me be real now. Yeah, but it's got to the age here where if I don't feel comfortable linking in my own house, then I show me linking. Mm. Yeah. I'm I've got to that stage quite. now that yeah, I, a couple beanies yeah. got my address and I'm like, oh yeah, shit. like if I if I don't feel comfortable linking you, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, beanies got my address. Once upon a time in history, yeah, I remember <laughs> this girl. I linked a girl. She was from South, and um, it was dark, and I probably circled the block like. Three, four Five, times. times. Did, you, did you put something over her eyes so she couldn't no, see? No, 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 but I just... <laughs> you know what it is? Like, like walk, say my house is like... quietly. Say my house is up there on the left. Yeah. I've driven past my house, <laughs> gone right, gone up the road, come back down, back roads, driven past again, then circled back round again on a wider scale because it's like, I can't have her calculating where she is. Where, you get me? <laughs> just making and, a dizzy and, now, then, then, then I bet you took her out in the night as well so that... Oh, 100%, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. we, then we went, when we left, we went a different way. But Confusion tactics. A wise man once said to me, yeah, um, no, I'm not going to say that, but... <laughs> <laughs> so at the same time, you've got to go through certain things and, and you've got to carry something else. Um, but Damn, who set you up? You sound like someone set you up. Nah, he's like, yo, you got to go through something else. You know what I mean? No, let me ask that, right? <laughs> But like, let me put it like this then. Have you ever linked anyone that you regret linking? Oh, 100%. 98% of the there time. You go. That's a <laughs> massive, 98%. 98%. 98%. 98%. 98%. 98%. 98%. 98%. But no, no, but it's true. But the, that is a man, them, it's all the same because I'm like, how many times? Yeah. Yo, like, you're horny, horny, innit? Hey, right, listen. But what I'm saying is. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. But the thing is this it is for most, man, because how many times, like, a percentage, how many times have you had sex and the sex would fire? What's the percentage? It's no more than ten percent. Like I'm saying, fire. Like <gasps> you afterwards. How many? How many? Give a percentage. I'm not talking about it's good. It was fire. <laughs> it's, it's a low percentage. Thank you. But but hey, do you feel you, me? The other times are waste. Let's be real. It was just a nut. Hey, we're gonna go there. We're gonna go there. Jose Jose Mourinho. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. You could. That's you why smart. I said percentage. Not um. Not the amount. Not the number. But a percentage. No, it's but no, if we're gonna, no. But if we're gonna go there, then let's go there. And this is the thing. Yeah. This is the reason why. Because a lot of men them want the whole experience without the whole experience. And what I mean by that is this. Man them want oh, somebody who can... Relations, go on. <laughs> <laughs> but man them want somebody who can do all the tricks. Mm -hmm. But like, where's she meant to learn them from? Brother. Like, no, but like, no, 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 no. Hear me, on, hear, me hear me out. Because I get you. it's like, if she's not learning all the tricks... Mm -hmm. Then how's she gonna know the tricks? And if she don't know the tricks, then she ain't. You're not getting the whole experience. That's why you get a hole, right? But this is what I'm saying. <laughs> man, <they're> not, <laughs> no, 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 but this is what I'm saying. Man, them are not being truthful to themselves because mm -hmm. you want the whole experience mm -hmm. without the whole experience. And not to say that right, you must get with somebody that is a hole. I'm mm -hmm. not saying that, but it's like man, them will hear she's caught four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bodies. And they're like, oh, that's disgusting. No way in no. hell could I... No, no, no. Uh, but obviously, obviously most of yeah, of course. Right, that's yeah. what I'm saying. So yeah. generalising. Like, and like, there's, there's... I've had conversations where men are like, oh, she's caught 10 bodies. No, nah, no chance, no chance. And I'm like, like, you're, you're not even making sense. Yeah. You get me? And, and, and the standard that you're holding the girl to, you're nowhere near the standard yourself. <laughs> you caught 10 this year. <laughs> like, you get me? Yeah, like, yeah but yeah. No, but you know what is it? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. No, but hear the, hear the joke, carrying on from that, yeah? it's like someone someone I know tweeted today, yeah? he said, don't care whether we're friends or not, if I'm into her babes and you try to slander her to me or others and it gets back to me, I'll boss your head simple. Then he said, leave me and my loose woman alone, we happy. <laughs> but I was like, then, then I said, right, you know what, it's true because... What a man them so quick to yeah. to open their mouth like you see a man happy you let it be it's none of your business because yeah. like it's like this here bro how he said man them ain't holding himself to the same standard if let's say a man is say a man is like thirty five mm -hmm. and if he was averaging ten a year a man who ain't had a girlfriend was averaging ten a year and you work out so that means here yeah, he's collapsed. 
all our potential network of girls that we could have wifed. And if we're going to go with that mentality you now, we're never going to get no girls because he's been on a rampage. Yeah, of course. Since 18, or maybe even some man started in school. So let's say he's been on a rampage since school. He's just run through a few hundred girls. Now we can't access nothing if we're, we're going to go with that mentality. Yeah. Ah, yeah, she linked my man. She hold because she linked. Yeah, that's why, like, bro, I don't care about, like, all of that. I'm not saying I'll just date anybody, obviously, but my screening is more than just how many people you slept with. Like, you've got to screen properly. Uh, beliefs, you know, you guys on the same page. All of that kind of thing 100%. is important to me. Do you feel me? Like, do you believe in white Jesus? All of that. That's some real <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? Is Jesus white to you? Oh, he is? All right, bye. Like, that's some shit I'm asking the first two weeks of the screening process. Do you feel me? All of that's important. Like, guys are just asking, okay, how many guys is, how many girls you slept with? And, okay, is that it? That's the most useless question. That's, my, that's you, you know what I mean? Like, Fine, I ask real quick, Joe, like, do, how that? do you feel like that man them should be asking, like, generally to women, like, the first two weeks of dating? And if they take offense to it, it's not your woman. My, my auntie told me, she's like, yo, you gotta be like, yo, like, do you enjoy cooking? You actually gotta ask that, because you gotta know, because man them want a woman that can cook. Do you feel me? Thank so, you. If you now get a woman that's like, yeah, I cook, but I don't enjoy it, you're pissed. So ask those questions. Get it out the window when you're dating these women. And then, boom, you'll be all right. Man, so you're going to be eating boiled, listen, egg, boiled egg, egg and on, noodles. On Linguini! Note, <laughs> like, on that note, <laughs> listen, I remember talking to someone, yeah. And um, I was talking to her and she was like, anyway, I've got to go because I've got to prepare food for the household. And in my head, I was like, yo. I'm really trying to be here in this situation. <laughs> and it's, no, no, real talk. Because yeah. imagine she's like, imagine like you're trying to chat to her or whatever and she's like, yeah, I can't even talk to you right now. I've got to take care of my household. Oh my God. That's levels. Like, that's some I know your toes thing. are like, that's <laughs> it. Toes, <laughs> his toes are like, yeah, hey, yo. Let me drop you off. Let me, let me. <laughs> Trust me. No, 100%. 100%. But, um, it's, like, it's, it's like you're saying. There, there's no questions that we're, we're not asking. Somehow, surprise, surprise, we found ourselves on this topic. Somehow. But, um, yeah, it's, it's questions that you've got to ask. I have to, like, a, a tra what's your relationship with your, with your father? That's real, because guys don't care, but there's a lot of trauma that you're going to now take on. You feel me? Because we all have baggage in it, do you feel me? But I always like to look at, like, how much baggage can you take? That's why, like, certain airlines say, we only take 24 kg. We only take 26 kg. You need to ask yourself, how much kg can you take? Because some of these women have... 35 kg, 40 kg baggage, and you can only carry 20. Hey, but That's your own. Talking, though. Yeah, you, like, so you gotta uh, you gotta ask yourself, yo, how much baggage can I take? How much baggage does this person take? And you're only gonna find that out from the screening process. That's why you go through the airport, they check your bag, they check the whole thing, they touch your balls, whatever, search you up and down, so they can see you're not carrying nothing. Ah, right, we can handle you. You come in. If they can't handle you, what do they do, bro? I, let's talk to you at the back quickly. You look, you look too Arab or you look too black. You know what I mean? So you got to ask yourself those questions. That's what I would say to, I'm not old, but I would say to people younger or my age, screen properly, innit? You feel me? Screen properly, find out who you're kind of dating. You feel me? And yeah, man. Because if not, some trauma's going to come back. And you're like, why is she speaking to me like that? Because her dad wasn't in her life. So be her, be her new dad. <laughs> be her new dad if you're going to do that. It's true. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dad. Don't hold it in, man, them. It's truth. Clip this, by the way. But yeah. <laughs> Listen, clip this, but you're a villain. Trauma. But we, yeah, Real man. life Trauma's villain. a thing, bro. Listen, and I like trauma. <laughs> you are a real life villain, you know. Oh, you ain't got your mum in your life? That's crazy, man. Let me chat to you real quick. And then, mum, <laughs> know what you can do with. But yeah, man. We're on this topic. It's an interesting topic, man. You feel me, so... <laughs>